I'm Pedro Rodolfo Steiner Greenberg. I was born in Quito, I'm 72 years old. My father was born in Prague in 1911. I really don't know much of the family. My father, I guess he didn't really want to talk too much about that because they all had the died, but he would show me the pictures. He graduated in a German-speaking school. That was, I guess, a very usual for Czechs to speak German. My father was an officer of the reserves of the Czech army. He was very active in a sporting club in Prague. It was a Jewish sports institution called Hagibor. And they used to compete in city and, and national competitions. So my father played soccer, ice hockey. He did some athletics. One of his friends, good friends, who came to Ecuador actually, also with him, Mr. Pablo Freund, and, and was a member also of Hagibor. He actually went to the 1936 Olympics, representative of, of Czechoslovakia. And uh, they were a number of uh, friends, the old practiced some sports and they went to di different consulates in Prague and were not very successful. Uh, finally, they went to the Ecuadorian consulate. So they went and talked to this uh, consul. I think he was Austrian. Apparently, he looked at them and said, uh, tell me, are you perhaps agronomists? You work in agriculture. And they said, well, uh, why do you ask? He said, because if you are agronomists, Ecuador needs you and I will give you a visa. They all said, yes, we are agronomists. And he gave them the visa. <laughs> as simple as that. As simple as that. They couldn't get a visa anywhere else, but they got it in Ecuador because there was somebody who wanted to help, and he could help giving visas to agronomists. So he didn't uh, ask them anymore. And uh, so they, they got the visa to come to Ecuador. Unfortunately, in something of a family meeting, it was decided that my father should leave and try to find a place where they could all go. And of course, my father was able to get the visa to Ecuador, but the rest of the family, they never were able to leave, and they actually all died in concentration camps. They left uh, via Antwerp, and as they were there looking at things, they, my father said that he, he went into a bookstore and uh, saw a big book about agriculture, written in German. He bought that, and that was all he knew about agriculture when he came to Ecuador, and he said that he knew enough to run the farm. He came to Ecuador just before the war started in 1939, and when they entered, my father, he said that he knew two things about Ecuador. Number one, that the capital of Ecuador was Quito, <laughs> and that it was on the other side of South America. One of the many stories that my father would tell me when, when they actually came here in Guayaquil, they got off the boat, and they really didn't know what to do, where to go, what to say. So they decided to look for something that had to do with sport, with sports. They said that they would like to get to know other athletes in Ecuador. So they went to the Athletic Federation of Guayaquil. That was about two or three days after they came to Ecuador. Well, this uh, friend of my father, Pablo Freund, broke the Ecuadorian record of discus. And they were so impressed by that that they actually gave uh, Mr. Freund uh, citizenship of Ecuador in a few weeks. He went to the Bolivarian Games and the South American Games as Ecuadorian and he broke the South American record. Well, it's interesting that all of these people that came here came with whatever they had in the, the one bag and uh, they had to look for jobs. So they organized themselves uh, as a something of a cooperative and uh, every time that some member of this group got a job, the salary that they would get would go into the treasury that would uh, be able so that everybody could go on. And eventually they all got jobs. There was a Czech house. They founded a, a Czech team, soccer team. Now, those were not necessarily all Jews. My father was not a very religious man, but he was proud of being a Jew. And he was very active in the Jewish community in Quito. The thing was that when all these immigrants came, the friends were also immigrants. It was a very different society. Jews were not really known in, in Ecuador. Uh, this is a very Catholic country. And uh, although the relationships with the people here were always very good, the close friendships 
were certainly with other immigrants. Uh, I would say that uh, that was not only the first years, it was probably much of his life. E even though there were a lot of friends here, especially the people that were involved in agriculture in cattle farms. My father got a job as an administrator of a farm close to Quito, very beautiful place, owned by one of the rich families in Ecuador who had other farms. Uh, he basically found his vocation. He loved living in the farm. He liked it very much. He never went back to Europe. He said there was nothing there to look for. But uh, his country was Ecuador. Well, he always told me that he was impressed of how the people who worked in the farm, who were, of course, uh, of Indian descent, right? how they were treated by the owners and uh, how they were treated in general and what the, the, the level of their life was. And he apparently had some uh, conversations with the owners, insisting that something had to be done. One of the workers in the farm one day came to him and said, you know, there's a really nice gringa apparently in the farm next door. Uh, you should go and visit them. So my father took a, you know, got on a horse and went to the other farm and met my mother. He got married about five months later. <laughs> my mother actually uh, was born in Vienna. She was about 17 years old when uh, uh, the Germans took over in Kristallnacht. So they sent my mother to England. And my grandfather also came with a visa, he was an agronomist or something like that, which he had been in Vienna. So eventually they got a visa for my mother when they already were living here. And she came uh, from England in 1940. Now my father really liked the good. And he learned very many things. Uh, being in the farm, he really knew the geography of Ecuador, and especially of these sites. He stayed there until 1955. Eventually he started a, a butter factory, which was small, it wasn't a big business or anything like that, but it was enough to live very well and pay for my university education in the United States. So we came to live in the city when I was about five years old and when I had to start the uh, first grade. I think in our class we were about 12 Jewish children out of perhaps in the primary 60 or 70. We were all very good friends. But my best friends were certainly children of the Jewish families. We were you know, immigrants. Going to, to the houses of my non-Jewish, let's say that the Catholic uh, friends, I was always impressed with uh, a virgin you know, on, on the wall. And uh, in, in my house, uh, we, we had uh, paintings. My family was basically in the family of my mother. My aunt was her sister. She was married also to a man who came alone from Slovakia. And my grandparents, their family was of Czech origin. And they had gone to Austria, which is something that happened very often with the Austrian-Hungarian uh, Empire. They were basically Czech and German-speaking people. The language in my family was German. Czech was not uh, spoken in, in our family. Otherwise, with my cousins, my sister, and with my friends, we spoke Spanish. So Spanish is my first language. The Ecuadorian Jews in my time, most of us went to study in the States. And the fact that we came back, I think, it was a good place to raise children. And we have friends and we have we had our families here. And uh, I got a job in a chemical company that was founded and led by an Ecuadorian Jew. I'm now the general manager of the company. I've worked there for about 40 some years and I'm the eldest person in the, in the company. I am a member of the Czech Chamber. Our current president of the chamber is actually also a, a Jewish person whose parents came from Czechoslovakia. There are not more than a thousand people in Ecuador like me. Somehow, I am different here. I was born here and I exist because I am a Jew. I'm a member of the Jewish community and I've been very active and my parents were very active. I was actually president of the Jewish community here for some years and I was in the board and I was in the board of the Einstein School, which is a school that was founded by the Jewish community. I do carry a culture and an education which I got from my parents. 
in my youth. I had more of an influence of the Austrian culture. I do have the Czech passport of the country where my father was born, where he felt very well. I like it. I feel kind of proud. That certainly, if somebody has to identify me, I would say that I'm an Ecuadorian Jew. My father was my hero, a person with profound values who I have admired during my whole life and whose example has guided me in many ways in which I have grown up. He had a lot of years with his grandchildren. He died in January of 82, a few weeks after turning 71 years old. He died too soon in my life.